and welcome back to another feral video now for today's video we are going to be experiencing the season pass for the very first time now if you guys haven't seen my last video i basically went over a little bit on the new season slash premium pass that was released and now we're going to be officially doing some of the challenges with the premium and free pass so as you can see some people have actually already unlocked the bunny i mean we have ice over here with the bunny we have sparks oh my god wait come back okay <laughs> look how cute the little bunny is it's so adorable yeah we're finally going to jump into the premium pass i'm gonna go ahead and buy it right now that's not where you buy it astral shop all right here we go there we go i froze for a second but we're good now purchase successful season early access okay so this is the very first season pass unlock the jackalope avatar shatter base sanctuary exclusive items and more during the season of feral looks like you've cleaned this place out i bought it look at that i sold out the astral shop and i have 100 star fragments remaining all right here we go let's go ahead and begin the season pass all right so i have zero of these aura points and i believe that we just have to go through and complete these challenges and go through the different tiers and our goal is to shoot for this jackalope right here it's only tier 25 so we should be able to do it i see a lot of people have already been able to do it so should be just fine and then i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it this video but the final tier reward is for these renegade horns and they're like shiny they look pretty cool so i'm excited to get those and cop that purchase but let's go ahead and start off with some of these challenges go ahead and start off with the 10 sanctuaries and the excite emote all right, let's go. Are you guys ready? How much you want to bet there's going to be a lot of people in here doing the excite mode? I'm calling it right now because everyone's trying to get that jackalope. Excite emote time. Let's see how this works. Which one is the excite mode? Oh my gosh, I just... No, that's not what I... Oh, press B to do the excite. Oh, I'm slow. Thank you, Rain Wish. I thought it was like the literal... Okay, excite, here we go. There we go. I figured it out. And then there's the challenge complete and I got three astral points. Our aura points my bad next up we have to visit 10 sanctuaries let's go let's just start visiting sanctuaries um rain wish we're gonna go to your sanctuary look at this little front area in the benches this is adorable i'm so happy you're here i'm glad to be here thanks for letting me uh <laughs> bombard in your sanctuary don't mind me I'm, I'm in caitlin's sanctuary and oh my gosh the brody room i'm living okay so this person says that fluffy fox loafer is apparently a big fan of mine they're not online right now but let's go ahead and visit their sanctuary hopefully they don't mind i'm just like barging into their home while they're not even online to know snows just has a toilet in a room and i love it it 10 out of 10 this is the best room i've ever seen the toilet really ties the whole experience together and now we're taking a selfie on the toilet and finally the last sanctuary on the list is my own that's still not decorated but look at that we got the reward three lock picks crack some chests with three lock picks i shall do so or maybe I'll break them all. Challenge complete. We got the artist bandana. Ooh, these tend to be covered in splotches of paint by the end of the day. Let's actually go ahead and check out what this bandana looks like. There we go. Artist bandana. Ooh, wait. That is so cute. See, I would actually make this on my main look if it didn't stick out so much. Like, it just looks like it sticks out so much from the scenery. Okay, so we can actually go ahead and go straight to Farrah Fashions and craft five common clothing items. Hello, Andrulian. How's it going? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, craft some clothing. Don't mind me. We got a vendor cap. The official cap of Cunningham's Old Fashioned Mail Order Catalog Couriers. <laughs> Send for anything in your wildest dreams. Cute. Vendor cap. Here it is. It's so cute. It kind of looks like the little hats from Stranger Things 3. Next up on the premium pass. Let's see how far away we're only on number five. Oh my gosh. It's gonna take a hot sec to get... Whoa. It's gonna take a hot sec to get to 25. Visit Blood Tundra. That's very simple. We can very much so easily do that. Open one chest without breaking a lockpick. That's stressful. Okay, let's go to Blood Tundra and try to find... Did I just go to my sanctuary? Yes, I did. And just like that, 1,000 likes for completing tier number five. And here's a chest right here, and it's the easiest one. All right, let's do this. I cannot lose a scholarly book stack. That's kind of cute, though. All right, now we need 10 shimmer stones from or shimmer blades my bad shimmer blades from lake root valley so i'm running across the border of lake root valley what in the world is going on 
There's like little sparkle things. All right, so apparently Rain Wish is gonna show me where I can get some shimmer blades. Oh, look at that, right up there. Perfect. Thank you. So if you guys want to reference where we are so you can find some shimmer blades for yourself, we're right up here at the very top uh, near this little warp pad up here for Arrow Peak Village. Right in this corner, there's plenty of shimmer blades for you guys to harvest. Oh, and it looks like I just completed the challenge and I got three lockpicks. Tier number seven is complete. We are almost halfway to get the jackalope. We're almost there. All right, let's continue. I'm actually having fun. It's not that bad. It's, it doesn't feel grindy right now. It feels like evenly distributed. Okay, so the people at my sanctuary are talking about a moon crescent, which is an item I do need, and I think Snows might be trading it to me. And it looks like Snows is just giving it to me, which is super, super kind of them. Cool, that was super sweet of them. And now that should complete another one of the challenges. We got 17 aura points. All right, so next up on the list, I need to trade five pieces of wood to another player and there we are challenge complete we got nine more aura points talk to 15 npcs in city farah well lucky for us we're actually in city farah right now so 15 npcs it is let's go alana how's it going alana the city's all abuzz about the season pass challenges. You're not wrong. How long it takes to complete them all. And yet that muscle head near the main plaza already finished all of them. That can't be right. Muscle head? How dare you call Brody a muscle head, Alana? Okay, you lost my respect. But new NPC dialogue? Yes, please. All right, Sentai, do you still talk about your toothbrush? Why are the season pass challenges so challenging? My mom doesn't have time to help me, so I've been forced to turn to the wisdom of my collection of pro protectors comics in issue 13 of the laser dragon arc renegade finds another way to unlock her powers and fulfill her destiny maybe i can do the same wait a second is that lore i spy renegade you win renegade horns for the final tier 100 challenge and of course brody who why does he have glowing horns what is going why what happened to brody just like randomly glowing horns oh and here's the rare plateau fungi wait Oh, he says something new. I see you scoping my sick new horns, bro. That means a lot coming from a champ like you. After I aced all the season tears, I feared I'd do a victory lap and flex my fashion muscles for a while by wearing these horns I got. Oh, he's wearing them. It's not like his actual horns. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. My forehead gets cold without my sweatband, but luckily these things are literally on fire. New Brody dialogue, yes. We are now on tier 14. 25 levels in Twiggle Builders. That's actually a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to Twiggles Builders. Holy moly, look at all the people here. Oh my gosh. Does everyone have the same idea as me? I think it might be easiest if I start from level one because it, it didn't say you have to complete 25 new levels, just 25 levels. Okay, let's see if this counts as a level because then honestly, that means can I just do level one over and over and over again? I feel like that's a little bit of an exploit. Hey, at least I'm getting likes from this because I am seriously broke on likes. I need all of the likes that I can get. Whenever I successfully do one of these levels, even if it's friggin' level five, I feel so achieved of myself. All right, it's been going fairly smoothly. We're on level nine. I've hit a roadblock on level 15, so not that bad. Ugh. That took so much longer than it should have. Oh my gosh, but tier 13 is now completed. We got the delicate teacup stack. It's really late. I'm so tired, but I'm gonna push through. Oh, apparently I just found a crystal ball inspiration up here. Okay, I'll take it. Also, have you guys noticed that they updated the color of the blood tundra? It definitely looks more so like blood now. All right, so here's what the plasma shards look like. They're located in the blood tundra. And I'm sure they're in different parts of the blood tundra, but where I am right now... I am over near the blizzard up here, so that's where you can find them if you're looking for them for your season pass quests. There we go. The next tier is complete, and we got some more likes. Thank you. I was running out of likes. Thank you so much. Tier 16. Oh my gosh. We're so close yet so far. All right next up, we need these dusk petals, which you can actually find fairly easily. They're right here at the start of Blood Tundra. 
And just like that, we are done. We got the Cuppy Enigma, Twinkle Enigma. Okay, next up on the list, we need to craft 10 cool die. That should be fairly easy as well. And this should be the last one, Verdania die. And now I actually have to go back into to die for and do the cinema for some more aura points. And I think this is actually gonna be the last aura point challenge I do for tonight. I'm very tired. I've been doing this for a long time. And we are now on day two of the Road to Jackalope adventure. I'm looking around and I can already see a lot of people have the Jackalope. You beat me to it, guys. I would like to say that I got a nice restful night of sleep. That I did not. I got zero sleep last night. I don't know why, I just literally could not sleep and gave up at 5 a.m. I just kind of got up and I'm like, all right, here's my fate. Has Neon done her Spanish lessons? Uh, 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 run away. So let's go ahead and continue on with this premium pass. We are on tier 19 sourdough breadboard, yes. All right, the first quest that I was able to locate is with Gladius. Hey, um, so after we binged all of the Soccer Revolution anime together, Mikel and I started going out. Oh, oh my god, cute! But, uh, she's gone a bit overboard. We've only been dating for a week and she's already carved our initials into, like, a thousand trees. Yeah, you guys have been watching too much romance anime, I'm sorry. And we finally completed tier 19, and we unlocked the sourdough bread board, yes. So I'm gonna go through and complete some of the more self-explanatory challenges, just stuff like open chests and trade items with players, because no one really needs to have a guide on how to do that. So if you guys need some quarry stones for, uh, one of the challenges, you can find them in Mugmire Marsh in this area up here. They're usually on cliffs and they look like that little stone pattern and you need to harvest 20 in order to complete that challenge. Another material that you're gonna need is this Pearlite Pollen, which you can also find in Mugmire Marsh. Pretty simple, they just look like the little weird funky looking alien things. A tip if you're trying to gather some likes quickly for a challenge, I would definitely check out Kino's Gambling Stand and City Farah. The games are fairly simple to win and you can rack up a lot of likes pretty quickly. Tier number 22 is now complete and I got these vendor pantaloons to go with the vendor cap and all the other vendor stuff. Ooh, we got a bunch of blood tundra common ingredients. Oh my goodness, they're spoiling me. There's a lot here, dang. All right, we just have one more tier to complete. We just did tier number 24. I had to swap five leather for five leather and thankfully Fluffy Fox Loafer helped me out with that and we got this rare ceramic tail ornament that looks really nice. And finally, the very last challenge I need to complete is gathering some swamp anemone, which you can find in Mugmire Marsh in this little water area down here. Towards the bottom of the map, there's a plenty of swamp anemone, and this is it. Here we go. The jackalope is mine! Finally, after, oh my gosh, I don't even want to calculate how many hours it's taken to get this jackalope. It's taken a long time, but we finally did it. Unlock the form of the jackalope. Any obstacle that cannot be outrun can be faced with a sharp wit and an austere? Austri? Os ostrich. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, finally. All our hard work has finally paid off. Oh my gosh, here it is. Yes. Here he is! Oh my gosh. For the time being, we only have this one customization head and everything. And you can unlock more different mods as you progress through the premium pass. But let's go ahead and make something real quick. Don't really know what I'm going for. So here's the um, draft number one of my acrylic bunny. I'm not very good with blending decals, as you can clearly tell. I kind of look like a mess, but you know, we're gonna work with it. I'm out of decal slots, we only have 30. Don't, don't question it. I know, I know it looks wacky, especially these ears up here. All right, so my computer just ran out of storage, so as ugly as this is, I'm gonna have to leave it at that, and we're just gonna do a quick, like, little preview of my little bunny boy. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I love the little running animation. It's so cute. Let's go ahead and check out all the different animations that come with the jackalope. We got sleep, 
Hi, Neon. Hi, Pickle Party. I like your username. Angry. Oh, he's an angry boy. Excuse you. I'm doing my interactions. Okay. Angry. Now we got, I think this is Excite or Play or something. Oh, that was the animation that we saw in the trailer. That's adorable. Sad. Oh, the ears go down. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're almost done. Angora rabbits. What is with everyone on my stream is obsessed with Angora rabbits. I never understand it. Okay. Oh my God. I love these animations. Was that it? Yeah, it was it. That's everything. There we have it, guys and gals. This is the jackalope, the long-awaited jackalope. Now, I'm going to be doing another video on the whole premium pass thing, talking a bit more in-depth regarding it, my opinions, how if I enjoyed myself. But I'm going to save that video until I finish 100% all the 100 tiers provided with the premium and season pass. So expect that video to be coming out at a later date. But yeah, I had a lot of fun getting this jackalope. It was definitely hard work to get, but it paid off. And I'm super excited to mess around with some of these new looks that I can do with the jackalope. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have gotten a jackalope for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Special thanks to channel members Golden Wolf, Lemonade X, Angelo Lalo, Kitty Gaming, Neko Friends BR, Cinder Meow, Ari Lover, Wolfflower AJ, Dex the Cat YT, White Comic, Bugs and the Brian, Lusar and Anderson, Hack Adorkable, Dreamwalkers, Maggie and Katie.